So what's going to happen in 2024? We don't know. It's very early. Nobody knows. But interesting dynamics to see right now that will be playing out for uh, for many months. CNN, what is, you know, we, we've, uh, we've asked the, the question, um, you know, how does the left define, say, a woman or, you know, what is a citizen? There are a lot of questions. But what is CNN? What is CNN? Is it, is it still going for the whole news network thing? I don't know. But uh, it exists. That's for sure. It's still a thing out there. And CNN has a, a has some polling that I wanted to share with you. I thought this was interesting. We'll talk about how this is perhaps reflecting our political realities right now. But it shows DeSantis versus Biden, Biden versus Trump. Play 17. There's this new poll from Quinnipiac University, uh, and it's not about the base. It's about, but it is a, an argument in favor of DeSantis if you're a DeSantis campaign person. Mm-hmm. It's with independent voters. In a head-to-head matchup, 49% of independents favored DeSantis over Biden, Biden 45. But then you have a Biden-Trump matchup, and 50% of independents go to Biden versus 42% for Trump. Obviously, it's way early, and DeSantis yeah. hasn't even announced a candidacy, although yeah. that hasn't stopped mm. Congressman Chip Roy from endorsing him. Yeah. Independent voters are going to largely determine the 2024 presidency. That's just a a fact. Now, the primary has to come first, and the primary is where I think you know, Donald Trump, clearly, and I've seen polling that, that supports this, Donald Trump is at his strongest because Trump's support within the Republican base is unlike anything that we've certainly ever seen for any Republican politician in my lifetime. I mean, maybe technically Reagan, I was alive when Reagan was in office, so, uh, but... I was a kid. I don't really remember it. So Trump has a huge momentum, I think, behind him with uh, the primary. But on the independent side of things, and it matters. I know we don't think about it a lot, especially going to a primary, but it matters. On the independent side of things, what is the Trump plan to win over independence? That's what I'm getting at. I'm not suggesting that, you know, even CNN there was saying that, like, it's super early. I'm not suggesting that, this really means anything. I think it's just more of an interesting piece of analysis that needs to be done on. We often are, we're we're so focused on Trump in the primary that there also needs to be a discussion of Trump winning independent voters. How is he? And and this is what I, the, the people that I, that I know, and we had some reach out yesterday, the people who I, I know are already, decided in favor of Trump in the primary. Now, they know they can count on other Republicans to vote along with Trump. I mean, I think that's pretty, pretty clear. There's always we're talking in very broad strokes here. But but how do they think if independence and by the numbers, by registration and recent electoral history, independents are going to be essential to 2024? If independents are going to be essential, what is the Trump plan to win them over? I've heard some interesting policies recently about sort of pro-family growth policies and things like this. You know, what is Trump going to present to independents that will be compelling? Because that's a problem for him right now. That's a challenge. I also think that what we're seeing with The possible economic look, the market just had a little bit of a rally today. You know, maybe the banks somehow and we just sort of keep stumbling along. That's possible, too. Um, But if we go into rough economic times, then I think it it benefits Trump considerably because his background as a businessman and also as a president who. Put covid aside, which is a pandemic that, you know, shut down the world, basically. Um, when Trump was president, the economy was roaring. That is just what happened. So maybe that then becomes the pitch. Maybe that becomes the way that Trump is able to start to break through with with independent voters. But I haven't seen anything yet. Now, I'm sure the Trump team would say, if asked, uh, something along the lines of, well, we're not focused on that. We're focused on winning the primary. And that's all fine. But I'm just focused on saving the country, right? We're focused on this place known as America and 
what's best for us going forward. And that means defeating the Democrats full stop in 2024. That means not allowing Joe Biden eight years as president, eight years of Biden as president. You know, sometimes I think about this and I just what has happened to this once great land of ours like Joe Biden? He's going to be 84 years old at the end of his second term. Maybe even older than that. These guys check me. Is it going to be 85 or 86? I mean, he's going to be way up there for a president. And yet they have changed the structure of the Democrat primary. I I think it's they're going to. There might be some steps they still have to take here. But here is Representative Jim Clyburn, who is saying, yeah, of course, moving the first Democrat primary to South Carolina changing around the primary schedule. This was the Democrat machine, the DNC machinery, moving in such a way that is to Joe Biden's benefit. Play 18. Making sure South Carolina goes first, Congressman, was indeed a political choice on the part of the president and his team to make sure he does not run into any LBJ problems, right? Oh, my goodness. You mean there's a political choice being made <laughs> in the political process? Come on, man. I know. I Absolutely. Got... Absolutely. Yeah, we all know this, right? But it's just going to show you that's what we, we know that, you know, you, sometimes you have to look at some of these factors that uh, there's no explanation for other than somebody's running. I said this before. I know some of you think I'm maybe a little a little crazy on this, but as soon as I saw DeSantis the most recently and saw that this guy had gotten in really good physical shape, meaning he had lost because you know he was a he was kind of a cuddly dad looking guy. Uh, you know, I'm I'm not casting aspersions or throwing stones here, but you know, heavy heavy D was a little heavier. You know, Ron DeSantis was a little was a little bigger. As soon as he dropped all this weight, I'm like, oh, this guy's running for president, obviously. And there were a lot of other reasons to believe it, too. But for me, that was just the, that was it. Like, as soon as I saw that, okay, so there's no question. They've moved the Democrat primary to benefit Joe Biden. So there's no real discussion, I think, as to whether or not, and you know I've been very consistent on this, that the, the Democrat machinery of, of getting the votes out, coupled with the propaganda machinery of pretending Joe Biden is something that he is not. That's how they think they stay in power. They don't have another. There is no other game plan. If there was some other game plan, we would already see what it is. At some point, maybe the other option was Kamala Harris, and she sort of takes the, you know, they pass the baton or the the, pass the scepter. You know, they pass the authority on to Kamala from Joe. But. I don't think that they believe, and they're they're right to believe that they would have no real shot of Kamala Harris being able to win an actual national election. So these are just some of the early dynamics for 2024. How does Trump appeal to independent voters? And I think that will matter somewhat in the primary because there's going to be an argument made by any Trump challenger, Nikki Haley, Pompeo, uh, <laughs> Bolton. I mean, he's in there, too. Uh, And obviously DeSantis, that that's Trump's weakness in in a general election now. That was that is a much bigger weakness than it would have been in 2016 because of all the things that they're going to throw out there about Trump's record. They're going to say Trump can appeal to independence. How does Trump come back at that? That's something that as much as people think of it as a general election issue, I think it will matter more in the primary um, then maybe some anticipate because it goes to electability. If you can't convince those independents, you can't get elected. So how does Trump tell the Republican faithful, I can also get independence? And again, I ask the question. I'm not suggesting this is rhetorical like he has no answer. I'm saying he's going to have to address this. 